Taxonomic Procedures After Collection After collecting specimens, the next step is to preserve organisms permanently, for future display, and study. This include Organisms collected were sorted, according to their orders. Date of collection, day or night collection, area name and orders were written, or marked accordingly. Sometimes, it may not be possible to pin the specimens, on the collected day. In order to restore the flexibility of the specimens, kept in a killing jar, they are relaxed by placing them in a, relaxing jar, at high humidity for a few days, which allow pinning without damage to the specimens. Mounting is, a backing, setting, or support for something. The primary purpose of mounting specimens is for, convenience in handling specimens, of difficult shapes or sizes during the subsequent steps of preparation, and examination. Another purpose is, to protect, and preserve extreme edges, or surfaces defects, during preparation. Soft-bodied organisms, such as insects, which include larvae, scale insects, termites, aphids, thrips, silverfish, mayflies, earwigs etc. should be preserved in alcohol. That is, in 70% to 85% isopropyl or ethanol alcohol. Exceptions include butterflies, moths, and bee flies, bombolids, because the alcohol will damage their wings. Rest the specimen, for example, an insect, on a pinning block, and steady the insect by either holding it with your fingers, or holding it in place with a forceps. Place the insect pin into the insect body. Insects are generally pinned through the thorax on the right side. Approximately 3 by 8 inch of the pin should be showing above the insect body. Once the insect is pinned, wings are spread by placing it on the spreading board so the wings are level, with the top of the board. After the process of pinning, the pinning board were kept in oven, for 3 days at 37 degrees Celsius. Without label, the specimen is incomplete and unacceptable. The labels should not be larger than 6 into 16 mm. Labels should be written in pencil, or computer generated. Every specimen must have the following information on the label, specimen number and order, geographic locality, date, stage, adult male, female, or immature form, altitude or depth, host, habitat, name of collector. Once the animals are collected, labeled and preserved, the next important job is of their safe custody, cataloging, etc. This is the work of a curator. Curating is a very important task of a taxonomist. Specimen curation is a way to preserve field collected specimens, to catalog what species exist in a certain area, or to have reference specimens to compare to others in the future. Storage buildings should be, fireproof, dustproof, earthquake resistant, air conditioned. Special care for type specimens include, type specimens should not be allowed to be handled frequently. They should only be examined by experts. Avoid their transport as far as possible. They should be stored separately from general collection. They should be clearly labeled in distinct colors. So, in this video, we have discussed about the taxonomic procedures, after collection of organisms. Taxonomic collection methods were discussed earlier and the link is given in the description box. Like, share and subscribe, for more videos. Thank you.